So this tutorial is going to be split up into multiple sections as I want to show you every possible way of getting this mod onto your system. We're going to start off with the easiest being Curse Forge and then we're going to go into Fabric. We're going to go into Forge, then we're going to go into Neofurge and whatever else there is out there. We want to get this on Curse Forge. It's one of the easiest things out of all of them to download. So what you do, you click download standalone here. It'll go and open a new tab and it should download at the top right hand corner here. Once it's finished downloading, I put it on my desktop to make everything easier, but it should be called Curse Forge Windows Installer. Double click on that and then this should pop up. Click on next and then look at your installation folder. Click here, accept that you're over the age of 18. Even though you might not be over the age of 18, you can still click this box here. Click next. Click accept and install. It is now downloading. Now with Curse Forge downloaded, what you need to do to get the mod, press continue, continue, continue as guest. Continue, continue, continue as guest. You don't need to log in. Then you click on Minecraft. For whatever reason for me, it says not installed. You have to reinstall it via Curse Forge instead. Click continue and click standard recommended. Once Curse Forge is installed, it should look something like this. Go back to the Curse Forge website where you found the mod, Legacy 4J. Go to install. Open Curse Forge. Install Legacy 4J. Create a new profile. Leg. Get leg as C4J, click create, and it should download the mod pack and it should download everything that you need. This is the easiest way of getting this mod because it gets you Fabric API, Factory API, and Legacy 4J. Click play, updating Minecraft launcher. This is normal, it does need to update since it's a modded version of the game. And once it has loaded, it will launch a different version of the Minecraft launcher. So it won't know who you are. So you will need to click sign in with Microsoft and that will open a new tab, sign in with your Microsoft account. Once you're logged in, it should say, welcome back, your username, click let's go. And then it should take a while to sign in with your Microsoft account. It's completely normal for Curse Forge. Curse Forge is used by millions of people and is very trustworthy. Then you click on Minecraft Java Edition, and as you can see, Legacy 4J is installed, then you can press play, and it should load. I hope this part of the tutorial has been helpful. Sometimes it might ask you, do you want to allow public or private networks to access this app? Click allow. Always click allow for Curse Forge. It's trustworthy. Now on to the next part. So you want to get the fabric version of the Legacy 4J mod. I might be thinking, oh, this is Curse Forge. You're not going to tell me, are you? Well, I am. And this is a manual download that you can do via Legacy 4J. So there are multiple mods that you need. And there is a dependency that you need. And the good thing with doing it via Curse forge it's all automatic if you're doing it via fabric it's no longer automatic and it's really annoying to deal with so recently the legacy 4j mod has changed their dependency and unfortunately my tutorial didn't share that dependency it shared a different dependency so now we're going to go to files go until you find the latest one so in my case it'll be 1.21.5 mod loader fabric Click on the three dots, click download. This is your first mod that you want, the Legacy 4J mod. Then you need the dependency, which is Factory API. Go to Files again, all game versions. Go to the latest one on the list. Go to Mod Loader, go to Fabric. Click on the three dots, click download file. This is the second mod you need. The third app you need is something called Java. Everything from now on, you need Java. You didn't previously need Java for Curse Forge, but if you're downloading this, you do need to download Java. Then you need something called Fabric API. Go to versions, go to game versions, go to the latest one on the list, you click on the three dots, and you click download. These are all the mods. You go to your downloads folder, you get all of these, and then you press Control and X, because I'm going to go to my desktop, and on my desktop, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to name it, legacy this is where the mods will temporarily sit while i teach you through the installation progress so after you've got everything that you need you go to jre which is java double click on it you click on the prompt and you say yes and then once it says yes click on install and then java should install to your computer once it's installed it says you have successfully installed java click on close 
Now you need to go to Fabric Loader. I forgot to show you this. Click on Download and Download for Windows. We'll go to your Windows Downloads folder and then just drag and drop it into your Legacy folder for now. Double click on it. Go to the latest version at the time. So mine is 1.21.5. And if that's the latest version of the mod, make sure that it matches the version of the mod and the version of the game. Click Install and it should be downloaded. Then what you need to do is get the Fabric API you need to get the factory API and Legacy 4J. Press Windows plus R. And then down here should be a run button here. Press percent app data percent and click OK. Once here, it should bring you to your Minecraft folder. Double click on your Minecraft folder. And then you go down until you see a folder called mods. I already have mods in here. So I'm going to temporarily delete all my mods here. And I'm going to put the new mods in here. I do need to just drag and drop all the mods in here. And there we go. All the mods are in here and it should now work once I go on Minecraft Launcher. What you need in this folder is Fabric API, Factory API and Legacy 4J. You click on Fabric Loader 1.21.5 or whatever version you've gone for. Click on play, click on play and it should load your mod. I just want to know if you don't have a mods folder, right click, click new, type folder, type the word mods or lowercase and click enter. But since I already have one, I am not going to make a new one. But as you can see, it loaded perfectly just from me showing you how it's done. So this is now the Forge tutorial and you want to know how to download Forge. I've got you covered, don't worry. So what you do now, you go to Files, you click on Game Versions and the latest one on the list. Then you click on Forge, then you go down until you see the three dots at the one at the top and click on download file we have changed their dependency to factory api go to files all game versions 1.28 mod loader board go all the way down click on download file and that should download finally you do need four duh you go on the latest file which is 1.28 please make sure it matches the mods version if it's not 1.28 you're watching this in the future 1.22 is out but the mod is still 1.28.1.5. I recommend getting 1.28.1.5. Click on the installer. And then this should pop up. Don't click anything around here. And click skip. Once those are all downloaded, go to your downloads folder. What we're going to do for this example is I'm going to grab everything that we need and I'm going to put it in a folder that I made called Legacy. You do need Java. I've already shown in this tutorial how to install Java. Go to the timestamp in the description down below of the Java tutorial and how to install Java. First, what you need to do after Java is installed, double click on Forge and it should bring up this window here. You can install it for client, install for server or offline installer. What you need to do is click install for client and make sure it matches with your Minecraft install. Click OK and then it's downloading successfully installed once it's successfully installed just click ok and then once that is done you click the factory api grab the legacy 4j forge and that is everything that is all you need for forge install and you click windows plus r you do percent app data percent in run and then click ok once you find the app data find dot minecraft then go to mods if you don't have a mods folder make a mods folder that is all lowercase double click in it and drag and drop your mobs in then we'll go to minecraft launcher and then once you're on your minecraft launcher it should launch your game and then you should see your forge install here click on play click play and have fun on 4j legacy so next we are doing the neo forge installer you will need legacy 4j but you also need the factory api and the reason is is this is a dependency that you'll need or it won't work so you go to files on the factory api go to game versions 1.21.5 mod loader and then you go down to neo forge and once done click on the three dots and click download file and then with legacy 4j go to files go down to 1.28.1.5 or whatever version is the latest and then go down to neo forge click download and then now what you need is the neo forge version for me it's the latest version that you'll need because the latest version is 1.21.5 but if you're watching this in the future you may need to go to their previous installs but other versions go here once you've got everything you need grab neo forge grab factory ai 
and then click on a Legacy 4J Neo Forge as well. For this tutorial, I made a folder just for Legacy Edition, just so I can go through everything and tell you where to put everything. So for the Neo Forge, you just double click on it. After you've installed Java, I've taught you how to install Java earlier on in the tutorial. You'll need to go to the timestamp in the description down below. If you don't have Java, click on install client click proceed and it should install neo forge quite quickly once it's installed you can close the installation and you get the factory api and legacy 4j windows plus r this window should pop up the percent app data percent and then click OK. Double click on the .minecraft folder. Go to mods. If you don't have a mods folder, make one with lower cases, but don't add any capitals or any spaces within the folder. Double click on it. Press Control and V to paste it in, or just drag and drop this in. Once it's dragged and dropped in, open your Minecraft launcher. And you should now see Neo Forge. Click on play, click play, and now it should load without any problem. So finally, we are doing Quilt MC. So what you need to do is click on install here. Click on on a client click client again and then you click on the you can either click on the windows.exe or universal.jar i'm going to do the jar for now and then legacy 4j files game versions 1.2 1.5 and then we'll do quilt and then we'll press download once that's downloaded i'll go to factory api files 1.2 1.5 make sure it matches up with the version that you want to download if it doesn't this will not work now we've got all three files that we want i am going to drag this into a folder on my desktop called legacy for now because i am going to walk you through how to install it one by one so double click on the quilt installer and it may not work it may say quilt installer needs java 17 to run Click on this blue text here. It's a hyperlink and it'll take you to where you need to be. Click on click on .msi and then it should download a file that you need to get Java to work. Unfortunately, the Java that I told you to download at the start of the video will not work for this tutorial. You do need a different version of Java. So I have downloaded the file. So I've downloaded the file and I've put it on my desktop. It's called OpenJDK, or that's what the first few letters should be. Anyway, double click on it. It should say preparing to install. Click on next. Press I accept. Click next. You can, if you have multiple users on your system, you can press install for all users or just for yourself. I'm going to press all users, even though I've just got myself anyway. Click next, click install, wait for it to do its installation process. Click on the prompt and click yes. Once this is finished, go back to your folder where the quilt installation is. Double click on it, go to suggested apps and click open JDK platform binary and then click just once. And then as you can see, it now wants to install. Click on 1.21.5 or whatever version of the mod that you're going for. Click on install and it should say quilt launcher has been successfully installed. Click OK. Once it's installed, click the factory API and legacy 4J and move it into a new folder we are going to go to this folder called app data do a keyboard shortcut called windows and r and go to this thing called percent app data percent click ok go to the dot minecraft folder and then go to the mods folder if you don't have a mods folder make one with all lower cases then drag and drop all the mods that you need in here and then type minecraft launcher and launch minecraft and it should work as you can see, Quilt is installed, click on play, click play, and hopefully, if you follow the tutorial correctly, it should work. Minecraft failed launch. If you get this, it says factory API requires the latest version. Sometimes for some reason, it doesn't want to work. Okay, this is new for me. I didn't know. Um, unfortunately, I did say the tutorial a little bit wrong. I didn't know that quilt launcher or quilt loader needed fabric to load uh go to versions and go to game version 1.28 1.5 go to the latest one and click download once downloaded go back to your mods folder that you've just made and then plop it in there and quilt api should now work with your minecraft launcher i'm so sorry for missing out that step press play and press play again
and as you can see it has loaded successfully on quilt thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it's helped and whatever you used i really hope it has helped you out feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content and thank you so much for watching this is not my usual type of videos but i wanted to make an updated version since the dependency did update